sorry, no skipping out on breakfast with me for a trip to Mona's bakery today. You make it sound like I asked to work early, just to avoid meal times. It wouldn't surprise me. I'm convinced that if Mona asked you to leave me in return for unlimited baked goods, we would be filing for divorce. <laughs> I'm just playing. I know you didn't marry me for my skills in the kitchen. I always love your cooking, who wouldn't? There's nothing like burnt eggs to kickstart the day. That's it. I'm handing you over to Mona. <laughs> Kate, is everything all right? It's, it's, uh... Talk to me. What is it? Damn it, it's work. It's bad. I'm going to have to take a rain check on our morning together. Again? Could they have you on a tighter leash? I'm sorry, Liza. They need me. It's my duty. I have to go. I love you. I'll see you tonight. Be safe. Always am. Okay, class, settle down. We can't get into a debate about the nature of Frankenstein's monster until you've quieted down. No missed calls from Kate? Strange. He's usually finished by 6.30. God, I hate it when the clocks go back. You can barely see the light of day. Hey, this is Kate. You know what to do. Nothing can possibly prepare you for this type of moment. A moment that feels like a horrible, horrible dream as it plays out into a reality. What they're saying is true. He's gone. It was a hit and run scenario, they said. He was called to intervene and stop the brutal beating of a homeless man on 24th Street. It's ironic how it was him who ended up brutalized. There were too many men for him to deal with, all dressed in black. Cade wasn't meant to go alone, but his partner was a no-show. The police said he should have waited until backup arrived. They didn't know Cade. Not like I do. Not like I did. He rushed in to defend the victim alone, and in return he was taken, taken from this life, taken from me. It was a beautiful service. You've done him justice. No, I didn't. I didn't even tell him I loved him that morning. I was so caught up in anger that I forgot to tell him that I loved him too. Hey, hey, keep your head up, okay? We'll get through this. I'm sorry, Valerie. You're his sister. His little sister. I shouldn't be using your shoulder to cry on. Don't apologize. Kate would have wanted us to help each other through this. Hey, Val. Who are they? I have no idea. To be honest, there are quite a few people here that I don't recognize. Give me a minute. Hey, wait! <laughs> Valerie. Sorry, Liza. Look at us, we've switched roles. I, I just can't. 
can't believe he's gone. <laughs> I'm alone. Never say that. You'll never be alone. You have me. I know I'm not half as funny or half as spontaneous, but I'm here. All of me is here. Thank you. Now let's get you home. Can I stay with you? Of course, Val. He was such a strong presence in our lives. I barely feel strong enough to hold myself up without him. I know what you mean. He was like that ever since we were kids. When our parents passed in the crash, Kay decided he would take care of the both of us. From then on, it was always just me and him. He made sure I was okay. He felt responsible for me, I guess. <laughs> that he did. He was very protective. He was worse when he was my age. It wasn't easy, you know, living in the orphanage. Older kids would pick on me. Badly. I lost count of how many times my head was shoved down the toilet. Just because I said the wrong thing. Kay dealt with the bullies to keep me safe. What do you mean he dealt with them? Did he tell the carers? Kate wasn't always the patient and tolerant guy you knew. He got in with a bad crowd to save up money and get us out of that hellhole. Those guys would deal with the boys for me. When it got bad. Wait a second. Bad crowd? Like, a, a gang? I don't want to talk about this anymore tonight. Sorry, Liza. I'm so confused. I didn't know any of this. I thought he worked at the local grocery store to save up enough to get you guys out of there. And he did. Sort of. I'm going to head up to bed now. Thanks for everything, Liza. Good night, Valerie. What the hell was she playing at? Following us? If she tries something like that again, she's going to end up like Cade! Cut it out, Cam. Do you think we did the right thing? Pull yourself together. Jordan, look at me. I'd rather him be dead than you. We need to be careful. Now more than ever. Warren can't see us together. He'll never allow it. Warren's not here now. It's just me, and I love you. I never liked to come into Kate's office. I was always a firm believer in privacy within a relationship. But I'm also a firm believer in justice and finding out the truth. <sighs> Who is this guy? This is just another aspect of my husband's past that I didn't know about and perhaps will never know. I wouldn't keep digging, Eliza. I don't think you'll like what you find.